Okay. I really thank the Lord for the privilege and the opportunity to be able to visit the church and to be given this opportunity to be able to preach. Thank you, Pastor Gisalba, Pastor Kent, for this particular opportunity. Thank you for all your prayers. Uh, we had uh, actually traveled all the way from Congo, and then I had the chance to be in Hawaii to be with my daughter. My daughter delivered our first American child. <laughs> you know, in, in America, it is Jusuli rather than Jus sanguine. So, bisan platang imong ilong, pwede kang maamerikano kung tuwa ka mapanganak. So, uh, my daughter uh, had a complicated pregnancy. She is diabetic. And uh, the labor was three days. And uh, as a result, she had chorioamunitis. So, gisisarian mga kaigsoonan. So, I really thank the Lord that uh, we were uh, there on that particular ordeal. And uh, the... The, my grandchild was put at the ICU for seven days. But uh, she is okay now. And uh, it is a blessing from the Lord that uh, God has given us an opportunity to help our child. I had a chance also to be in Singapore to preach during the mission conference at Singapore Baptist Church. And uh, please be praying for uh, my trip. Uh, going back to Congo by May 15. I, we will be going back to Congo by May 15. <clears throat> Please open with me to the book of Romans. Book of Romans, let us all stand up to give reverence to the Word of God. <clears throat> book of Romans. So, I will title this, I will title this message, uh, When Commercial Break is Better Than than the movie. Romans chapter 11. And uh, to make it fast, we just read verse 11, verses 11, 15, and 17. So, are you there? Okay. Let us read verse 11. I see then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. But rather, through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. 15. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the word, what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? 17. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, wert grafted in among them, and with them partakes of the root and fatness of the olive tree. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Thank you so much, O Lord, for this particular opportunity. Thank you, Lord, that you have given us the opportunity to be able to hear the gospel. Thank you, Lord, that you have saved me. I am just a sinner saved by grace. And it is only through your authority and power that I am able to stand in this particular pulpit. Thank you, O Lord, for Pastor G. Salva and for his family for his leadership, and for this church. I pray, Lord, that you glorify always your name in this church. And allow, O Lord, that every life represented this particular morning will also glorify you. Allow us to understand your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. <clears throat> Mga kaigsunan, kung mutan o ka o movie, Kunya na ay patalastas nga mo, mo, mo abot, masuko ka, di ba? Especially kung there is already a thrilling area, a time that tanaw ka, unya, may kalit laghunong, unya, tied. Na unsa ni? Gusto mong ibalhin ang channel? Unya, unya ka nalang mubalik kung ang mubalik na ang movie, mga kaigsunan. Especially if you're looking at a basketball game. Unya, 
Sige nag-basketball, kalit naghunungon, niya patalastas. Mga kaigsunan, kidang tanan, we like the movie. And I think it is the most important if we are looking at a certain movie, we like the movie. But you know, as I read the Bible, and as I look at the verses that we have read this morning, will you please show the verses? Romans 11, 11, it says, I see then have they stumbled that they should fall. God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. Next verse. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the word, what shall be the receiving of them be? But life from the dead. Next verse. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, wet grafted in among them, and with them partakers of the root and fatness of the olive tree. Mga kaigsunan, ang movie mga kaigsunan is about the Israelites, about the Jews. We are not included there. Kamu dili din mo included, ako included ko kay apil ko sa Jew. Jutay o buhok. <laughs> Katong mga Jew, apil na. Pero kad kamu, nga daghan mo buhok, awa mo'y apil. <laughs> Mauna. That's the reason why, karong panahon na, there is an organization that says, to the Jew first. Included me niya na, to the Jew first. Pero karon pang nahuna po, na apoy organisasyon nga naghimo na po bago and also to the Greek. Naghimo po sila and also to the Greek. Now, as I have said, the mention that I am referring here is about the Israel. When I look at the Pentateuch, the prophets, the Old Testament, the New Testament, especially the book of Revelation, it talked about the Jews. Open with me to Matthew, chapter 10, verse 5. The Bible says, These twelve Jesus sent forth. Who are these twelve? The disciples. And commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritan, enter in not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as ye go preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven, is at hand. If you will look, red letters, it was Jesus Christ himself who said that. Huh? Go not into the way of the Gentiles. We are not included. And into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. Salamat sa ginoong uh, karun panahon na included na tabat. Originally, we are not a part of the movie. We are not. Now, Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, This is Jesus Christ saying, I am not sent but unto the lost ship of the house of Israel. Mga kaigsunan, the movie is Israel. Jesus was sent to the Israelites. Now, but the Israelites rejected Jesus Christ. That's the reason why in, 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 in Acts chapter 1-6, please open with me to Acts chapter 1-6. When Jesus Christ resurrected, the disciples asked him, When they therefore were come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? Because they were thinking that Jesus is the king that will restore the kingdom of Israel. They wanted Jesus Christ to be the leader. And if you have remembered Matthew 21 verse 9. And the multitude that went before and that followed cried saying, Hosanna to the son of David, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The word Hosanna, in the Aramaic language, it means, please save us. 
It is a call of reverence. They were looking at Jesus Christ as the Savior. Hosanna in the highest. But the people that were saying Hosanna to Jesus Christ were the same people that crucified Him. Said, crucify Him, crucify Him the next day. Pero there is Pilipinas, mga kaigsoanan, kanang Hosanna, murag gibanira na siya. Murag hunasan, hunasan. Kudita, kudita. Nagkudita man sila. The Jews were thinking of having a new leader. Yet the same people, the same people who cried Hosanna, were the same who cried, crucify him. Crucify him. The Jews rejected Jesus. So, what did Jesus said to his disciples? Acts chapter 1 verse 7. And this is one that I would like to, to, to put into your mind. Because now that you have received Jesus Christ as Lord, Savior of your life, we are his disciples. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times of the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Mga kaigsoonan, mi hunong ang mubi. Mi sunod ang patalastas. The commercial break is now placed, and bigla lang may ingon. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be my witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, in Israel. Pero gidugangan mga kaigsunan, in Judea, Samaria, and to the uttermost part of the world. Salamat nga na included ta. Kay wa na sa original plan sa ginoo, mga kaigsunan. As I was actually reading all these verses, mga kaigsunan, open with me to John chapter 1, verse 12. 11 first. You, you go first to 11. The Bible says, He came into His own, and His own received Him not. The Israelites did not receive him. Hinautunta nga kita, nga gitagaan o higayon sa ginoo, nga makadungog sa gospel, dili na to i-reject si Jesus Christ. Kay kini, higayon na ni na to, mga kaigsunan. We are not in the original plan of God. Supposed to be, we are not the movie, patalastas lang ta. The Jews rejected Christ. This is the movie. Ha? Pero nag-commercial muna. Misulod ang also the Greeks. And the Cebuanos. And the Ilocanos. And the Waray-Waray. And all other groups of people. Unya, John 1.12. Tanawa. John 1.12. But as many as receive him, to them give he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Amen. Mga kaigsunan, what a beautiful verse. Before, I do not have the chance to become a child of God. But because the Israelites rejected Jesus Christ, Huh? John 1.11, He came into His own, and His own received Him not. Bigla, John 1.12, But, as many as received Him. Mga kaigsunan, daghan pa karong panahuna, wala dawata si Jesus Christ. Daghan karong panahuna, they do not believe in Jesus Christ. And even some of us who are coming here in the Bible Baptist Church, some of you say, I believe, but you don't really believe in your heart. Romans chapter 11 verse 8. 
The Bible says, According as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Mga kaigsunan, these are the chosen people. Pero in spite of the fact that they are the chosen people, it is God, it was God who put them to sleep. God, according to the Bible, give them the spirit of slumber so that they will not believe. Because if they believe, wag yun tay chansa. Wag yun tay chansa. But God has already the plan for you and for me before the foundation of the world. Mauna nga, di yun na ito usik-usikan mga kaigsunan. Huh? Eyes that they should not see. Laliman ka, iyang kaugalingong chosen people. He has chosen Israel. Yet, He allowed the Israelites to be able to sleep. To be able not to believe so that you and I can believe. Now, Romans 11.12 The Bible says, now, if the full of them be the riches of the world, and the diminishing of them the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness? Mga kaigsunan, the fall of the Israelites resulted into the riches of the world, and the diminishing of them the riches of the Gentiles. Ato karong panahon. Romans 11, 17. The Bible says, And if some of the branches be broken up, and thou being a wild olive tree, wet grafted in among them, and with them partakes of the root and fatness of the olive tree. Mga kaigsunan, gigraf lang ta. We are not supposed to be there, but tungod kay nakat up sila kay wa man sila mutuo kita gikuha unya gigrafta and that's the reason why we are enjoying this particular moment to be children of God and if you are here this morning and you have not received Jesus Christ as your lord and savior do not waste that particular time kay you are not included in the movie patalastas ka lang we are just the commercial break Today is the age of grace. Romans chapter 11 verse 30. Poros ni versikulo lang. The Bible says, For as ye in times past have not believed God. Mga kaigsunan, we are unbelievers before. Huh? Yet have now obtained mercy. Through what? Through their unbelief. Mga kaigsunan, kung, wa, mut, kung mituo pang mga Israelites, patay. Ambot asa tapadulong karon. But because of their unbelief, we have obtained mercy. We have obtained mercy. So please take that particular mercy right now. Do not lose the time. So the movie was shared and there was a commercial break. Mga kaigsunan, bigla, Matthew 28, verse 19. And this is Jesus Christ saying, Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Mga kaigsunan, we are directed Okay, this is now the commercial break. The age of grace. That we will not waste the time so that we may be able to go and teach all nations. Okay, unya, mubalik ang movie. Wa, napunta. Huh? If the movie will come back, the commercial break, no more. This is our time. And this is the time that we should go teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. 
Have you heard about the times of the Gentiles? Our time? Open with me to Luke 21-24. I am putting only verses here so that we may be able to understand. The Bible says, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and they shall be led away captive into all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Mga kaigsoonan, I am not a theologian. Pero there had been a lot of discussion about the statue that Nebuchadnezzar was able to build. Kunya, gidivide man to into different uh, category. Nga, ang, ang Jerusalem will be conquered. Kunya, that will be the time of the Gentiles, mga kaigsunan. Karun is the time of the Gentiles. Look at Romans chapter 11, verse 25. Romans chapter 11, verse 25. The Bible says, For I would not, brethren, that he should be ignorant of this mystery, lest he should be wise in your own conscience, that blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. Mga kaigsoonan, ang Israel karon is blind so that you and I can be saved. You and I will have the opportunity to preach the gospel. You and I will have the opportunity to become a child of God. Mga kaigsunan, it says, until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. Ang Israel karon bisan daghan na nagabisita didto. Daghan tro different nations. A lot of people are visiting Israel because they wanted to see the 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 the, 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 the area where Jesus Christ actually was was staying. And they knew the Israelites know that this particular people believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is the Messiah, but the Israelites do not believe. Until now. Why? Because they are blind, blinded. And who blinded them? God. Usahay, magunahuna ko. Nano ka ha? Naghimo man sila to the Jew first. The organization to the Jupiter. Nagunaw na ako. Kaya kung bisan ka pa maghimo pag organization, you go to the to this particular people. If God is the one blinding them, they will not believe. Huh? Have you ever thought about that? Nakaunahuna alang ba kuna na? Because as I was studying this particular message last night, I said that we have missionaries going to Israelites to the Jew first. We wanted the Jew first to believe. But the Bible says that God himself is the one blinding the Israelites. So, karong panahon to the Greek. Ato ni. Why magsamuk-samuk? Ato ni. Now, Romans 11.20. The Bible says, well, because of unbelief, they were broken up. And thou standest by faith, be not high-minded, but fear. Mga kaigsunan, ayaw ta panghambog. Fear God. Pag pangahadlok ta, mga kaigsunan, ako, I, I, I fear God. I know that I am just merely standing here only by the grace of God. I am a sinner saved by grace. If these Israelites did not have unbelief, mga kaigsunan, wag yun in town ko. Wasab mo. That's why we should not be high-minded. In fact, we should be humble. And we should think that this is an opportunity wherein we may be able to preach the gospel. As I have said, until now the Jews believe, they do not believe in Jesus Christ. Sige, kaya pong sila add to dito sa willing wall. Sige, ampo, ginoo. 
Lord, the Father, padadimig misaya, padadimig misaya. Pero the misaya is there already? Wala yun sila. Dili kita ang main attraction. Dili kita ang movie. As I have said, patalastas lang kita. Mau nga, dapat nato paspasong kini. Kaya ang patalastas mga kaigsunan, pila lang na kami nato. Ha? Huh? Ang opportunity to be able to preach the gospel, pila lang na kami nato. Pero daggang ka nato, nga ni adiri, o niya, ni ang mga bisita karun, niya, nakadungog mo, nga gisultihan mo, nga si Jesus Christo, mawang manluluwas, diligya po mo to. But I tell you, my friend, there will be a time that it will stop. Kay patalastas rin na. Kamu nga nag-backslide, punong na na. Let us be serious, mga kaigsunan. According to, the, to Romans 11.20, let us not be high-minded, but fear. But fear, because this is our chance. Romans 11.31, the Bible says, Even so have this also now believed, and through your mercy, they also may obtain mercy. Mga kaigsuunan, tungod sa inyong pagtuo o tungod sa kaluoy nga gihatag kanato, mga kaigsuunan, ang mga Israelites, they were also able to obtain mercy. Gigamit di ay ta sa ginoo, aron ang Israel po makasabot. Ha? Nagunahuna ko dito to the Jew priest, pero tanahon ako ni, even so have this also now believe that through your mercy, they have also obtained mercy. Mga kaigsunan, karong panahon na mga kaigsunan, daghan ng mga misyonaryo. Nga mga Gentiles that went to Israel, that taught the Israelites who Jesus Christ is. Have you realized that because we believe and through the mercies of God in our lives, the Filipinos are now sending missionaries to the Jews? And I just would like to conclude because I do not want to preach long. My voice is also just like Pastor Gisalba. I don't know why God chose Israel. Ano di man kita? Tungod ba nga mga gwapo sila o mga taga sila o mga intelligent sila? Anong di man waray-waray ang gitsyo sa ginoo? Anong di man mga ilunggo? Si Buano? But I cannot I cannot question God. According to Romans chapter 9 verse 20 The Bible says Nay, but O man, who art thou that replies against God? Shall the thing form say to him that form it, Why hast thou made me thus? Mga kaigsunan, makakustyon ba kas gino? Giporma tas gino niya, ang nagporma ka na to, ay mong kustyon nun. Nanong giporma ko yung unin ni? Upaw? <laughs> Ikaw pa'y naglagot na giporma ng kakapat. Hath not the potter power over the clay? Of the same lamb to make one vessel unto honor and another dishonor. Mga kaigsunan, di takasabot, but it is not for us to understand. The best that we can do is just to serve God. Amen. Don't ask God. Just serve Him. Just obey Him. Even Job. Ingun si Job. Lord! He tried to question God. But God did not answer. And later on, he believed. He submitted. This movie is about the Israelites. And in due time, all the Israel nation shall be saved. Mga kaigsunan, all the Israel nation shall be saved. 
dili mahitabo nga dili masave ang Israelites. But I know, nga kita mga kaigsunan, gigamit sa ginoo. Next slide. Si Karaya, chapter 12, verse 10. The Bible says, And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. Mga kaigsunan, muabot ang panahon na ang Israel maluwas. Pagkaluwas sa Israel, balik na ang movie. mag na na, mga kaigsunan. Ayaw hulata ka ng panahon na. Kung hulaton mo ka na, next slide. Ha? Matthew 9, 37-34. Then said he unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers unto the harvest. Mga kaigsunan, that's the reason why pag abot na ng panahon na wala na ta mga kaigsunan. So there is now an urgency to send missionaries. There is now an urgency that you and I should be able to preach the gospel. Naabakay igsuon nga dili luwas. Naabakay ginikanan nga dili luwas. Naabakay mga classmates nga dili luwas. O ikaw kung dili ka luwas, mga kaigsuonan. This is the time wherein we will have to consider these things. As I have said, patalastas lang ta. I truly appreciate this church. You know why? Because our church is sending missionaries to the different parts of the globe. Not only that, na atay saturation team. You know the reason why? Because Pastor Gisalba knew that our time is very short. Our time is very short. There is that particular urgency to send out laborers unto the harvest. Next slide. Nga naman, the Bible says, I must work the works of him that sent me. While it is day, the night cometh, when no man can work. Mga kaigsunan, tanaw-tanaw ko sa akong kaugalingon, kanihan to, sa batan on pa ko, Murag dali-dali lang na akong lakaw. Pero karun, ingon na yung kalakaw. Muabot kaya po ng panahonan ninyo. Ayaw na hulata. Kung batanon ka pa karun, this is the time to work for God. Daghang mga batanon karun di. Ah, oh, pastor, I really like to become a doctor. Wala pag doktor, mayo na. I really like to become an engineer. Okay, good. I really like to become a teacher. Pero huna huna, what kind of doctor will you be? Will you be a doctor that will testify about Jesus Christ? Will witness about Jesus Christ? Ang atong gihuna huna are the material benefits that this world can give. Pero mga kaigsunan, mga patalastas lang ta. Your time is very short. My time is very short. And you know, death is just like a thief in the night. It will come to you at a moment that you do not know it. Ang bata mamatay. Ang tigulang mamatay. Ang guapo mamatay. Ang batig na ong labaw na. Para kaigsunan. 
Unya kung muabot ng panahon na. Next slide. The Bible says, the harvest is past. The summer is ended. And we are not saved. What a tragedy. What a tragedy. Ang ginoo, God so loved us so much that even His chosen people, iyang gibutahan, He put them to slumber so that they will not believe, so that you and I will have the opportunity to receive the gospel. We are not the movie, we are only the commercial break. And because we are only the commercial break, this is our time. Church, please consider this particular time. Let us be serious in our work for God. Let us be urgent in winning people for the Lord. Ayaw na tao liko-liko. Duro di ritso na yun eh. Mga kaigsunan, I don't know about you. Young people, I do not know about you. The harvest is past. The summer is ended. The tragedy is if you are not saved. Kung luwas po ka, the tragedy is you have not done something for Jesus Christ. And if we are a church, have you ever, ever thought that your life can be used as a missionary? Have you ever thought that you young people, that your life can be used also to serve God? Today, my message is very simple. I have not talked. I just allow all the the verses from the Bible to tell you what is really happening. And as I was looking at it, I came to realize that I am blessed as you are blessed. We are not included supposed to be. But because of the unbelief of the Israelites, you and I were given the opportunity to be able to receive the gospel. And you are given the opportunity to become a child of God. And if we are given that particular opportunity, then there is an urgency that you should use that particular time in your life to win others for Jesus Christ. Young people, I will be talking to the young people. How many of you will try to consider surrendering your life for the Lord? How many will say, missionary, I know that it is only by the mercies of God that I am saved. I would like to surrender my life to serve Jesus Christ. How many will do that? Those that will not be ashamed. We were talking about these things because there are a lot of young people now who do not have really that heart to serve Jesus Christ. How many young people will not be ashamed to raise their hands and say, I know that patalastas lang ko. But at this moment in time, I would like to surrender to serve Jesus Christ. Is there anybody? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Is there anybody else? Thank you. Will you stand up? Stand up. Do not be ashamed. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Amen. Stand up. Thank you. Stand up. 
Stand up. Salamat sa ginoo. Nga sa kadaghan sa mga young people na ay gihapoy gusto nga musilbi sa atong ginoo. Ang uban siguro gusto musilbi kang satanas. Ambot lang. Please sit down. Church, di ka nga ni ka musilbis ginoo ang lain na direksyon ang imong silbihan. That's the truth of the matter. And I will not hide it from you. Duharap, it's either yes or no. Church, we are believers. How many will say here, there is an urgency that we will do something so that we can preach the gospel to all nations. We would like to support more missionaries. We would like to do more. And you, yourself, is a missionary. Dapat kamo nga mga men will have to join the 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 in touch sa ilang saturation women you join kinahanglan nga mag go out mo soul winning this is the time when we will have to do this let us have that urgency how many will say pastor buhato na namo will you be able to do that without hesitation kanang iisan yung inyong kamot Amen. Na ay usa. Usara. Ang uban dili ganahan. Dili ganahan. Mga kaigsunan, when I am doing this is because there is that urgency. Visitors, somebody loves you. That's why you are invited to come. Siguro you are not sure that when you die today, you will go to heaven. But if you want to be sure, you have to receive Jesus Christ as Lord, Savior of your life. Among the people that are here, you will say, missionary, I am not sure that I am going to heaven if I die today. I would like to be sure. Would you be able to do that? Is there somebody that will raise his hand Missionary, dili ko sure sa akong adtuan kung mamatay ko karon. Gusto kong mahabalo. Is there somebody? Okay, let us pray. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name I ask you, The word of God is preached. I have not said anything according to my own knowledge, but according only 